eyes and ears don't deceive you. That is a literal piano man singing piano man for the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. Normally, I'm not a huge fan of that song, but we had it tonight and I enjoyed it. That is at Cattlemen's and Fabians, the Fighting Irish and the Oregon State Beavers both out there for Christmas dinner. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays to you and yours out there tonight. Number 19 Oregon State hasn't been to the Sun Bowl since 2008 when Lyle Movau and the Rogers brothers James and Jaquiz won a high scoring thriller over Pittsburgh. Three to nothing. That's right. The eight and four Beavers arrive for the Tony the Tiger Sun Bowl this afternoon. On Friday, they'll square off with number 16 Notre Dame in the 90th edition of El Paso's game. Dem Beavs got the traditional welcome to El Paso that all Sun Bowl participants get on Christmas Day. The mariachis and folklorico dancers were still out in full force to greet them. Now, Notre Dame's second appearance in the game is the headline for this Sun Bowl, but Oregon State has been very good the last few years. However, they will have an interim head coach in Cafense Hinson leading them in the bowl after Jonathan Smith left for Michigan State after the regular season ended. After weeks of preparation, OSU is excited to be in El Paso and finish their season strong. We've gotten here, you know, I think the heavy lifting's done. The, this is kind of the familiar part, practicing football, enjoying a new place, a new city. Uh, so this will be fun. Uh, it's been a lot of learning, learning good learning curve. Uh, again, I knew all the players, so that part was easy, but just a little more uh, responsibility, but it's been a good experience. You know, that's a special thing. Just to go and end the season on the W, that's the most important thing, and uh, that's exciting that we're able to have the opportunity to do it in the 90th game of the Sun Bowl. Yeah, Oregon State will be without starting quarterback DJ Uyunglele. He entered the transfer portal. Starting running back Damian Martinez will also not play. He got a DUI, so they will have to piecemeal things a little bit. We showed you the piano man off the top, but after the Beavers arrived, both Oregon State and Notre Dame ate Christmas dinner out in Fabens at the famous Cattleman Steakhouse. T-Bones as big as your head. That's the uh, just the right amount of protein Beavers and Fighting Irish need be growing boys as well as playing the Tony the Tiger Sun Bowl on Friday. Players we talked to said it was a special treat and made being away from family for the holidays just a little bit easier. Now before the Fighting Irish got stakes as big as their heads since Notre Dame held its first practice in the Sun City on Christmas Day. Since they got here the day before the Beavers, they're obviously a little bit ahead. The Fighting Irish's open practice for the media is scheduled for Tuesday, as is Oregon State. And that has been, uh, become pretty standard for college football teams playing in bowl games, especially in games like the Sun Bowl. The Beavers and Fighting Irish will play without a myriad of players who opted out, so they're making changes where they need to. That includes at the quarterback position for the Fighting Irish, where Stephen Jelly will fill in for Notre Dame. Head coach Marcus Freeman says the Irish feel pretty comfortable with all the players that they're putting out there to be able to contribute on Friday. Yeah, I think we knew right away pretty early in the process who was going to play and who wasn't going to play. And so um, this group has rallied and it's got given some a, a lot of young people an opportunity to come out here and perform. And, and there's a lot of people that are eager for this opportunity. I'm extremely pleased with the group we we have down here and I'm excited to see what they do in this game. Practices and festivities continue all week for Oregon State and Notre Dame kickoff for the 2023 Tony the Tiger Sun Bowl is Friday at noon on CBS and check this out at Oregon State's arrival earlier today. We had ourselves an old Southwest standoff. This baby with Tony the Tiger who's going to win. He, he wanted he wanted the smoke. Baby was not about the smoke or was it? I don't know. I mean. It, Tony, is, 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 is this you saying that the baby wins? I don't, I don't know what this is. Child, don't be scared of him, though. He is great.